We already know how to read exa files from previous video. Now let's see how to write exa files. If you don't see previous video, I suggest you to start there, then come back to this video. Here I will show you how to change some members of PE header. In this video, changing tame date stamp, member of image file header set by linker when file created, changing subsystem, member of optional header. In previous video I told you that this value is interesting. By this member we can hide CMD window, and that's very useful. Changing address of entry point. Changing start point of app. Tame date stamp represents the date and time the image was created by the linker. The hex value is represented in the number of seconds elapsed since midnight, January 1st, 1917. Many of malware creator forgot to change this field. Then malware analyzes know how long the malware is in the wild. This is how looks our testing hello world in fast assembler. This is our changing app written in C, and this app needs an argument, exe file, in which the data will be changed. First uploads exe into memory. Whole process is explained in the C virus example. If app has correct argument, then new output file name will be created by changing first letters of input file name. This time we won't use memcopy, there is much faster and effective way. Another way to fill up the structure is create pointer and typecast into buffer. Here we are filling up structure with data from buffer. This will be new value of a timestamp. If we have data in structure we can directly change it in buffer. Just like setting new member value, like in every basic structures tutorial. In memcopy method after changing this value we have to use memcopy one more time to set change data into file buffer. That's why this method is much faster and effective. Our app shows value of time data stamp before and after changing, that we could immediately see the changes. Here we are creating new file and write new values into it. Of course, this file must be created in binary mode. Let's see how our hello world works and how its timestamps look in debugger, before and after in new file. This is out hello world app and this how its optional header looks like. Now let's use our changing app. It's look like in new file we have changed values. Now someone who will be analyzing this file will be thinking that this one is from future. Subsystem. 
tells OS how to load and show EXE file to the user. In Microsoft Manual we can see this. First value telling Windows that load EXE file is in graphical mode. In WinAPI console window is high by default. And every Windows must have handle and be created separately. Second value tells Windows that loading app is standard console app. And CMD window is shown by default. As you probably guessed, changing this value in character mode app into graphical mode app will hide this app window. It works the same the other way around. If we change this value in WinAPI, Windows shows CMD window. This is how our testing app will be looks, this time in C. It's standard console app and will show us results of what chosen in message box, then exits, like in this example. If we hide console app, we should see only message box, and then apps exits, and of course we won't see console window. This is our hiding app. Everything is like in previous example. Needs argument, then create new output file. Of course we're still using pointer method. So here we fill up structure. There is new value of subsystem. And here we write new file. Let's test it. If there will be some infinite loop, this file will be working till system is on and could be exits only from task manager. We see only message box. Windows thinks that this is WinAPI. So, this is how you hide your CMD window. Quick look how it's look in WinAPI. After change subsystem, we should see console window. Now, Windows thinks that this is a console window app. This time we will change start point. Address of entry point tells Windows where it starts executing EXE. This member of optional header contains RVA, relative virtual address, where execution starts. When file is loaded, Windows change relative virtual address into virtual address by adding image base from optional header. Don't pay too much attention for this now, I will create video explaining what's happened with EXE after loading. Take a look on this ASM code. We have two sections, first code will be default start point. In this section we have information that this is default start point, then app exits. Second section should be never executed because there is no call to this section and its characteristic isn't contains executable property. In this section we have information that this is second start point. We have also message box that gives us the same information.
How this app working? We have only message that this is default entry point. Pause. Then app exits. To get new start point address, we have to take a look into debugger. Here is address of actual start point. Here we see RVA offset to second section. Let's take a look. After change this into this, we should start app in different place. This is our changing app. Everything is like in previous example. Here we set up new value of start point. Let's see how it's working. Like you see now this app starts in completely different section. We have message that this is second entry point. And of course, we also see message box. Let's see it in debugger. We have warning that code starts outside code section specified in PE header. If you see this message, you should exercise extreme caution with debugging that application. As you can see the code in the section will be executed regardless of the fact that this section only has read and write properties. How to avoid this message? just by changing base of code from image file header. Now we don't see any warning. Of course we can use our subsystem changing app and then we will see only message box without console window. If you use changing time date stamp app, nobody will never know when this file was created. Thanks for watching! Stay safe and always pay attention to file extension.